Hey guys, uh, I got a cool video for you today. Uh, I'm going to walk through how I get dev assets quickly and easily into Babylon.js. Uh, so you can see here right on the web page, I've opened up the Babylon Playground. We got a sphere and we got a uh, ground and uh, a popular file format that we like to use uh, in Babylon world is GLTF and GLB. And so here we have a cool alien looking model. Um, and so what we want to do is create our own GLB asset and uh, get it running in the Babylon Playground so we can uh, play around with it. So let's, uh, the tool that I'm using today is called Google Blocks. You can grab it off uh, the Oculus Store or on Steam. Uh, it works on pretty much any uh, six dock tracking headset. Um, so let's jump into Blocks. So let's go in. Here we are. So uh, Google Blocks is a VR application that lets us draw in 3D using our hands, so it's pretty easy to use. So let's start. Uh, let's, maybe we'll create a cool little robot here. So I'll create the head. Let's do this quickly. There's his body. There's a leg. There's another leg. Uh, there's his arm. Another arm. So maybe we'll give him some, uh, some eyes. Let's give him really big eyes. There we go. And let's also give it some pupils. Oops. Uh, make it small. Put the eye in. Boom. And let's give them a cool smile. Beautiful. What a great asset. Uh, so let's save as a copy. And there we go. That was easy. Now we got our asset created. We will jump right back into it. So uh, Google Blocks actually will load your offline models into a folder located in your user path, documents, folder called Blocks, and offline models. And so it created us a folder right here. Uh, you can see here's a wide variety of different files that Google Blocks uh, creates for you. Uh, you can see that it already has a GLTF file, but the standard that they're using um, is slightly outdated and does not work with um, latest uh, GLTF engines. And so we're actually going to use the OBJ and convert it to a GLB. And that also makes it a bit easier because GLBs contain all the material and geometry information in a single file. Um, so it will make it that much easier for us to work with. Now I will jump into that folder. So I have uh, my folder here. Go into that folder. Um, and so I'm going to use a tool called OBJ to GLTF. Um, it works pretty well. Um, you can just download it right off NPM uh, and just pass in the input and output. So after I, you install Node and NPM, you can just run uh, GL, OBJ GLTF, pass in the model.obj, and I'll put a converted.glb. So we'll run that. Takes a couple of seconds. There we go. And if we take a look, we see converted.glb. So it's right there. Next, we will create a local server just to serve it up so that we can access this file from Babylon. And so I use a older version of serve and I pass in the cores command. This will allow us to uh, pull files from the Babylon uh, URL from a localhost address. So let's just double check that localhost is now serving on port 5000. So there it is. There's our folder. There's our converted.glb. Go back here. Uh, we'll actually click copy the link of the converted file, pass that in here, and since we have the full path, we don't need to add anything for that second parameter. Click play. There we go. Happy. Here's our happy little robot. Uh, move them around. You can add uh, whatever additional logic that you want to from the other examples. Um, and that's how to get a blocks asset in Babylon. Thanks for watching.